good crunch, softer interior, more like popcorn. The ones that are golden brown Season 2, Episode 8. Well, here we are in the last week before the musical opens. This year we're doing Into the Woods. And what that means is there's a lot of late nights, along with a lot of late night snacking. So, there's only so many potato chips you can eat before you feel terrible. Today, I'm going to make my favorite and more healthy gluten-free snack. We're going to make some homemade corn nuts. You know, oftentimes it's easy to snack mindlessly, and when you're sitting for hours on end at times waiting to do one particular thing before you do another particular thing, it's super easy to just start shoving stuff in your gob. That's why I've decided to make my own snack, and today I am bringing to you what I hope will be the best corn nut I've ever had. This recipe only uses three ingredients, coconut oil, giant white corn kernels, and fine sea salt. So this is an experiment for me. I've never made corn nuts, and of course, corn nuts are not nuts at all. It's giant white corn that you can buy in the Mexican section of your grocery store, or in my case, just go to a Mexican grocery store and it's right there on the shelf. These giant white corn kernels came dried and they soaked for 24 hours. After I soaked them, I spread them out on a baking sheet and now the outside is dry again. Believe it or not, soaking the corn kernels is actually the difference between having giant white popcorn and corn nuts. Today, because this is an experiment, we're gonna do this two different ways. I'm gonna bake half of the corn nuts on 400 and I'm gonna fry the other half at 300 degrees. Last night when I soaked this, it started with four cups of corn nuts, but after it soaked up a lot of the liquids, it came to about six cups. Let's divide it in half. Three cups. Right, we're gonna line our baking sheet with parchment paper. And we're going to pour our three cups in. One even layer. For half of this recipe, I'm using three tablespoons of melted coconut oil. I'm going to salt it generous to taste. It's probably about a tablespoon. Make sure it's in one layer. So I'm preheating my oven to 400 degrees. I've got the corn nuts salted, oiled, and ready to go in the oven. The reason we're doing this two different ways is to find out which way works best for me and which way gets us the most authentic tasting corn nut. So this is the giant white corn and it sounds, it's super dry and sounds almost like 
Mancala marbles, that African game, or like anything dry. Anyway, a huge bag of these costs about $2.50. That's less than what you pay for a small bag with one and a half to two servings in it. The oven is heated to 400 degrees, so we're going to go ahead and put our corn nuts in. Now we will check these every 10 minutes. So are corn nuts good for you? Not necessarily. Just like any other snack, you have to eat it in moderation. The thing that makes corn nuts better for you is if you make them at home. That way you can control the amount of salt and fat that goes into them. They're getting there. there but I think we can go a little bit longer. These need a little more salt. Really good. Now it's time to make the deep fried ones. All right, we're gonna start heating up the pan. Gonna get this up to 350. Almost there. So we let this fry to three to four minutes. I'm using peanut oil for this.
we're trying to get it to a nice golden brown. So here's the baked corn nuts, and here's the corn nuts that were deep fried. The, the difference is the baked corn nuts look a little bit more dry and are darker in color, and the deep fried are more golden brown and a little more puffy. Let's go ahead and try them. Oops. Baked. Fried. Okay. So when I eat the baked one, there's definitely a deep crunch. I notice the ones that are more golden brown taste a little bit more burnt. Good crunch. Softer interior. More like popcorn. And when I taste them, the ones that are lighter in color are more chewy and taste less done to me. The ones that are golden brown Really tasty. Soft popcorn-y interior. Both of them are salty enough. This is a really good recipe. So I did it two ways. One, I baked at 400 with coconut oil, three tablespoons of coconut oil, for 40 minutes. I started out with 30 and then realized I needed a little bit more time, but in that time, I ended up burning a few. So 30, 35 minutes is probably good. With the deep fried one, I started the oil at 300 and realized that was too low. So I raised the temperature to about 350 and found that frying at a higher temperature got them more golden brown quickly. And that's why we have that soft interior. Well, I hope you enjoyed what you saw. And if you did, please like and subscribe and don't forget to comment. And remember to ring that bell so I can let you know when I'm coming back in your kitchen. Bye-bye!